We expect two fresh engines next year, but we must keep the trains going now. If we don't, our railway will close. That day can't come soon enough. My coach has felt a lot stronger today. A packed train, Scarlowy. Only our regular crowd, Renius. Driver will have to examine me tomorrow. And then again, if he does, I won't be in time for... Oh, Scarlowy. I'd have said you're getting lazier, but I understand. It'll be my turn tomorrow. How about that? Long ago, Star, Lowy and Renius were the only engines who kept their little line running. They were used to each other and everyone was used to them, but they were more than willing to welcome new faces no matter where they came from. Crossley Kern, Crossley Kern, a light here for Crossley Kern. First Grandpuff's coming home? And I'm on the poster. Can this day get any better? He's there. Shh, shh, shh. Y y hey, you woke me. In my young day, engines were seen and not heard, Grandpuff, remember? I remember two idle good for nothings called Falcon and Stuart. Good for you, Grandpuff. We can keep you in order now. Keep me in order? Impertinence. Be off. Peter, Sam and Sir Handel were once called Stuart and Falcon and they used to work on their own little railway with Duke, who was named after the Duke of Sodor. When their railway closed, Duke didn't join his friends. He was shut up in a shed. Until now. I say, you wouldn't happen to know when I'll be on the move again, would you? Can you give me a new front coupling? Well, I, I can't do that. Uh, didn't think so. Maybe look for some manners too while you're at it. Oh, bother. So, what are you? A Metropolitan Vickers Diesel Electric Type 2. I've no idea what that means, but it sounds awfully prestigious. Nobody ever calls me that, though. You can call me Boko, that's fine by me. Boko? Oh, pardon me for saying so, but that's an odd name. Well, we can't all be called Duke. Cheerio! One day, much later, Duke emerged from the works. The Finn controller came to see him. Good morning, Duke. It's a pleasure to see you again. There was, however, a problem. Sir, I must be honest. I'm very confused. I thought I'd come to be repaired. I look no different to when I arrived. You've a lot to answer for, sir. In my day, engines... Uh, don't worry, Duke. I respect your feelings. Now, where is he? Duke, my precious! That voice belonged to the Duke of Sodor. The present Duke of Sodor, that was. I apologise for my being late. Uh, sheep on the line, no matter though. Oh, Duke in the flesh himself. You look magnificent! What I would give to have father with me. Is this some sort of joke? 
Duke, we need to make sure that you're able to run properly on my railway first. It wouldn't do to give you such a lavish repair if you couldn't. Is that clear? It wasn't clear, clearly. Accept our apologies for not explaining it properly, but you're not just any engine, Duke. You're a living legacy, and we have to be careful with you. Poppycock! I'm no different from any other engine. Still, it'll be great to be running again. So that was settled. The Finn controller agreed to give Duke a five-day trial to prove his worth to the railway. For Duke's first day, he was given a small train to take to the end of the line and back. His popularity was evident, however. Look, Daddy, it's the lost engine from my book! I have a name, I mean, uh, hello! He's been begging me to take him to see you. He loves your stories. It'll make his day to have his photo next to you. Photo? Before Duke could even think of anything else, a camera flashed in his face. And what does Duke say? I'm sorry? That thing you say in the book. It was lucky for Duke that Sir Handel was close by. Oh, sorry, forgive Grandpuff. His memory isn't what it was. <laughs> oh, what is it the Duke says? That would never suit his grace. You want me to say that would never suit his grace? Yes, 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 please, Mr. Duke. I don't understand. I didn't say it that much, did I? I only ever said it when... Um, Grandpuff, say it or I won't pull my trains today. Falk... Uh, Sir Handel, forfeiting your duties over some silly catchphrase? That would never suit his grace. Oh. Bye-bye, Duke. Oh, you've made his day. Thank you. We'll come again. You did that on purpose, F Sir Handel. Don't take it too hard, Grandpuff. I know you're still getting used to things. Not all of us have hibernated for a long time. Hibernating, indeed? I'm not a bear. And besides, what good do silly storybooks like that do for us engines anyway? Well... Come on, let's get this show on the road. Oh good, Grandpuff can help me. Sorry to spoil your first day like this, Grandpuff. I didn't want to be begging for coal from you. If anyone's to blame, it's my fireman. Oh, how many more times? I thought the bunker was full! Look, it's Duke! He could get us home and like this useless thing. Oh, push off. Stuart's not useless, most of the time. Who's Stuart? Oh, uh, uh, Pete, I mean, Peter Sam. Peter Sam isn't useless most of the time. <laughs> oh, Grandpuff. <laughs> oh, that joke must have been so funny I forgot to laugh. On Duke's second day, he was being readied while talking to Scarlowy and Renius. Once Sir Andal and Peter Sam came, everything's been so much easier. We get many passengers and everyone's always friendly. Are there any quarries or mines on your railway? We had one on our old line. Well, uh, we did have a quarry, but it was mined out years ago. It's been taken over now. By who? Oh, we don't say the name. It's uh, scary. Scary? Come along with me later today, Grandpuff. You'll see for yourself. Why do we have to hide again? If we were seen, Grandpuff, it could cause uh, trouble. What sort of trouble? We wouldn't like to find out. Duke was astonished when the pair returned to find. Good grief! Whatever made that buzzing noise has made our trucks change lines. That buzzing noise, Grandpuff, was their engine. We'll take these vans to the yard. Hmm. Suspicious. None of you seem to know an awful lot about this, do you? We can't see the engine. We can't go up the line. I don't understand. Are you sure this is safe? Oh, quite safe. 
The Fink Controller assures us all the time. But it's not something we like to talk about too much. Very well, Fo <sighs> Sir Handel. I'll never get used to that. I'll have to take your word for it. Secretly, though, Duke was still concerned. On Duke's third day, he was taking Gertrude and Millicent for a sprint. He took a liking to them. They reminded him of his old coaches. They didn't have bogey coaches on this line back in the day. Can you imagine? A railway without us? It doesn't bear thinking about. I used to love pulling my bogey coaches and my picnic train. We used to stop and pick berries. I don't suppose we do that here. Should we tell him? Heal, Millicent, heal! I'm not a dog, Gertrude! That James? He didn't have any idea how hard I work. James? That red engine who works on the Fat Controller's Railway. Hmm. I don't suppose it could have been that engine who was rude to me the other day. He stormed off in a huff, something about a broken coupling. Och, the very same. Must be common with red engines. Maybe every engine on this railway has a rude streak. Och, I'm not rude. Number two on our old railway, he was red. Hmm. Oh well, never mind. You wouldn't happen to know anything about the place we don't speak about, would you? Hold fire, Duke. Take it from me, Duncan has no imagination. I've always thought it's like a factory sort of thing. I used to work in one before coming here. A factory? Hmm. You're not working undercover, are you? You're not some sort of enemy, are you? If this place could pose a problem to the railway, or even this island, you would know, wouldn't you? Are you quite finished? I'm no spy, I'm just the same as the others. Yes, is that so? Mind you, I heard you rocked and rolled a lot and stuck in a tunnel once. Our number two misbehaved so much he was turned into a pumping engine. How much longer are you sticking around? I can't take much more of this. The novelty of running on a railway again seemed to have worn off as Duke entered his fourth day. We've got a surprise for you tonight, Duke. A surprise for me? It wouldn't happen to be... Oh no, Duke. We can't tell you about what goes on up there. You know exactly what I mean. All right then. Keep your secrets. Duke was the last engine back on shed. Everyone had waited eagerly for him. Duke, I know it's been difficult adjusting to this style of life again, but I hope you've enjoyed working here. Even if you did say I should be a pumping engine, I would like that. Uh, thank you. Uh, there are things about this railway that does confuse and amuse me, but I can see you all run a tight ship. Now for the really good news. You used to pull a picnic train, didn't you? To the harbour by Duck's Branch Line. Well, the Finn Controller has had this in mind ever since you were found, and now the three of us are back together, we should bring the service back. Gertrude and Millicent can be our bogey coaches, just like in the past. What? Don't you... don't you like it? Oh no no, oh no of course, forgive my conduct, I was so overcome with shock. I think the idea is simply splendid. I have missed my picnic train. Why, it was my pride and joy, wasn't it, Sir Handel and Peter Sam? Indeed, Grandpuff. He never missed it, you know. I think it's a wonderful idea, Scarlowy. Thank you all for making me feel welcome. Of course, it won't be the same as it was, but it's very thoughtful of you. Thank you, Duke. The driver says we've got a headboard for you, too. Ooh, a headboard. Simply divine. That would suit his grace. On Duke's fifth day, Sir Handel and Peter Sam waited with Gertrude and Millicent. They wanted Duke to be left in no doubt that Scarlowy's Railway was the place for him. Here he comes! Sure enough, Duke arrived with his picnic headboard. 
It's a bit crude, but I suppose when the train starts running properly, they'll replace it with something a lot more suitable. Amongst the passengers were the Finn Controller and the Duke, the person who made a speech. Ladies and gentlemen, I won't keep you waiting as they're ready to go and uh, someone will attempt to steal my seat, Lord forbid, uh, but it is a pleasure and a privilege to see Duke back in service, as I'm sure it is for all of you. The Finn Controller and the engines on his railway have done an excellent job of making him feel welcome again. Duke was built to run the railway which my father had worked tirelessly to bring to life, and to see him running again with the very same engines he calls his friends is beyond what words can describe. So here's to Duke, the lost engine. they reached the end of the line. They had to stop beyond the points as they hadn't been set to allow Duke through. At least that was the plan. Duke, stop! The point isn't set! What had started as a day of enjoyment quickly turned to chaos and disarray. Everyone came to inspect Duke. Duke, are you all right? What happened? Oh, I'm so glad you're safe. You'll definitely need to be repaired. Uh, perhaps there's still some teething troubles that need to be ironed out. Uh, we wouldn't want accidents like this happening again. <laughs> What made you think this was an accident? I beg your pardon? Oh, I'm sorry, perhaps I wasn't clear enough. Like how you were not clear with me when you left me on that flatbed and couldn't be bothered to repair me properly. Grandpuff, what are you talking about? Stop feigning confusion, Sir Handel. Well, do hurry up, Mr. Sam. You're the ringleader of this criminal railway. You answer, charlatan. Criminal railway? You thought I couldn't tell, could you? You thought I was blind to the truth. Well, you were sorely mistaken. Let's get one thing clear. If I were to work on your railway, I'd not only be changing my colour, but I'd be doing criminal work, which does not suit his grace. Or maybe it does, since he is so insistent on me joining your ranks. Oh, Duke, this is highly embarrassing. Please stop this. No, I refuse to be indoctrinated into the Finn Controller's gang of identical-looking engines. I refuse to know what's going on at the place we can't speak about, because it's likely illegal. I've heard enough. I'm, I, I'm really sorry, everyone. I, I think... I think Duke Peter Sam and Sir Handel were gobsmacked. Was this their Duke? Their Grandpuff? It didn't matter that Duke was soon back on his rails, because he was soon off them again. I don't know what's gotten into you, Grandpuff. Duke. We, we don't know who you are anymore. We did our best to make you feel welcome and you pull a stunt like that. The passengers will say it's a bad railway and that won't do. You taught us that well enough in the old days. What do you know, Falcon? For crying out loud, Sir Handel. Hm. I take it you traded your morals for that knighthood. You can hardly speak about names the way you're boiler-aching, calling us criminals. You've no evidence whatsoever that we are. I know you were locked away for years, Duke, and that would be upsetting for any engine, but that does not give you the right to be like this. It was upsetting. You've got that right. I was so surprised when they told me you hadn't forgotten about me. Perhaps you should have done. Duke... You don't mean that, surely. Pay no mind to him, Peter Sam. Sir Handel paused impressively. This engine has clearly fallen from grace.
Duke's trial had come to a sour end and he was soon back at the works. The Finn Controller and the Duke came to see him. Duke, lovely to see you again. How are you? Why are you concerned about me? I embarrassed you in front of your own passengers. Well, it was embarrassing. <laughs> I've had my share of mistakes as a controller, but we're far from criminals. Are you angry with me? Well, I'm not. At least not now. I was at the time, but when the dust settled, it made it easier for me and your grace to see why you reacted that way. You were locked away from the whole world for years. You're scared and confused. This isn't like you, and you know it. I'm starting to think sheds have far too much of an influence on me. You worked really well on my railway, Duke. I'd love to have you join us, properly, but of course only if you wish to. Duke looked on and noticed. Hold on, I recognise you. Hello, Duke. It's a pleasure to meet you again. You're that clergyman who... Indeed. I hear you've not been at all yourself lately. You don't seem to think that the Finn Controller's Railway is what you thought it would be. Hmm? Well, we shall have to see about that. I've been rummaging in my study, and I found something which could be of interest to you. We'll have to take you inside the works so we can watch it properly. Watch it? Yes, Duke, watch it. Uh, we could be some time. We're in need of a shunter. This is the Scarlowe Railroad on the island of Sodor. Scarlowe means lake in the woods, and uh, Reneas means divided waterfall. There are also the names of the engines that work this here railroad. Look, there's the man who drives fires and guards and, uh, with a young boy on the footplate. Whoa, uh, that would result in uh, serious questions and uh, examinations. Uh, but the railroad's only just paying its way. This controller not only manages the line, but also serves as guard on the trains it runs only so many times a week. Built to carry copper and then slate from the quarry, the railway traverses country and mountain, delivering some of the most breathtaking views one might find on Sutter. But with ever-decreasing demands of freight traffic, the railway must rely on its passengers more than ever. Will it exist much longer, though? No one can say for a certain. I'm very proud of those engines, and their railway. I like to help in any way I can. I wrote books about them, too. Are they about things that really happened on their line? Well, of course. You had a book, too, didn't you? Sir, I'm not too late, am I? Months had passed. But one day, the Finn Controller gathered his engines to the sheds. He had an announcement for them. What if it's... Oh, Peter Sam, no. It won't be about Duke. We haven't heard about him in months. As you may remember, we were greeted with an engine named Duke a while ago. Some of you knew him before he came to this line, and some of you didn't. Duke left in disgrace after he said some interesting things about us. But... While he didn't wish to join us then... <gasps> oh my! Duke, I don't know what to say! You look splendid, but I thought... I was wrong about all of you and your railway. I said things which never would have suited his grace, and I'm sorry. What made you change your mind? A clergyman. He showed me this railway has a wonderful legacy, just like ours did, Peter Sam, Sir Handel. But while I couldn't save our old railway, I want to make things right by helping this one for as long as I can. Can we call you Grandpuff again? <laughs> oh, it always was a daft name. But it's a tradition I would never want you to break. 
So without further ado, I and Sir Robert Norrenby are pleased to officially welcome Duke, our newest engine. <laughs> the only criminal thing I did was acting like number two. <laughs> Can we make a fresh start? They could. And Duke has never looked back. Thank you.